Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we're moving from Sheikh Saad, Iraq, to Mokovic in the Kingdom of Montenegro for the Battle of Mokovic that occurred between January 6th and 7th, 1916. The Austro-Hungarian forces under the command of Field Marshal Hermann Albin Josef Freyer Kovis von Koveshaza, who had been a retired commander of 1914 and had not been known as anything but a generally competent but unremarkable commander. His reputation changed drastically, however, when World War I broke out and he helped defend against a Russian invasion of Galicia, and he became one of the most popular Austrian commanders by the end of World War I. Accompanying him was Major General Wilhelm von Reinhold and 20,000 Austro-Hungarian troops. Defending was a Montenegro force that was attempting to put themselves between the invading Austro-Hungarians and the retreating Serbians. The defenders were commanded by Count Janko Vukadic, who had been the Minister of Defense in Montenegro. Vukadic had become the Chief of Staff of the Montenegrin Army, and it should be noted that the only known female participant in the battle was Vukadic's daughter, Vasila, who was responsible for Montenegro's HQ correspondence and was serving in the army as a corporal. Yanko commanded 6,500 soldiers who were entrenched around the village of Milkovic. Surprising everyone with their victory and even earning the admiration of Major General Wilhelm von Reinhold, the Montenegro force was able to hold off the Austro-Hungarian attacks and force Field Marshal Kovesh and his troops to retreat. The King of Montenegro, an ally of Serbia, had been fighting their own invasion as the Austro-Hungarians invaded Serbia as well. On January 5th of 1916, the Montenegrin Royal Gendarmerie, part of the Kakor Detachment, was ordered to protect the retreat of the Royal Serbian Army all the way to Corfu in Greece via Albania. The Montenegrins had already been weakened by the harsh winter weather and the lack of supplies, but did their job anyways and settled in and around the town of Milkovic, determined to stop Field Marshal von Kovacaza and his troops. The wait wasn't long as the Austro-Hungarians attacked on January 6th through the 7th, which was the Christmas holiday for the Eastern Orthodox Church. Field Marshal Kovacaza commanded the artillery open fire on the Montenegro positions before dawn on January 6th. Following a couple of hours later, the Austro-Hungarian soldiers attacked the Montenegrin line, and by noon, the Austro-Hungarians were forced to retreat after being repulsed multiple times. There are conflicting statistics. Some report the Austrians suffered less than 300 casualties, while others report up to 2,000 for that day alone. Either way, by the end of the day, after fierce hand-to-hand -hand fighting in knee-deep snow using bayonets and knives, the defenders were able to wrest the control of Mokovic from the Hungarians as they retreated for the evening. The next morning, the Austro-Hungarians attacked even harder and again suffered heavy losses pushing them back to where they started. At this point, Field Marshal K called off the attack and Austro-Hungarians retreated from Mokovic. When asked, Major General Reinhold said, the courage of the Montenegrin soldier has no equal in the history of wars. Here you could see the Montenegrin soldiers attacking the enemy's bayonets with their bare hands. That numerically small army armed with primitive weapons on the terrain of Mokovic for days stopped the much more numerous Austro-Hungarian army equipped with modern arms. Even with this kind of bravery, the entire army of Montenegro surrendered by January 25th due to the sheer size and ferocity of the Austro-Hungarian invasion. Losses were minor on both sides in comparison to other battles as the Montenegro troops had a total of 205 killed, wounded, missing, or captured. Meanwhile, the Austro-Hungarians with more than 3 to 1 advantage had suffered more than 2,000 killed, wounded, missing, themselves. Join us again next time for Things You Should Know, The Great War. Yeah.